What's up, I'm gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful gamers. So welcome back to Roleplaying Games this is Mario Kart 98. And there we like to discuss about RPGs, like the content, like the video, super appreciated. No one's told you today you're a gorgeous and beautiful person, you're indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. In today's video, I am going to show you how to get this armor set, which let me tell you, big, big disclaimer before we begin. The game, at least on the store, it says that we will be able to carry the demo version of our character to the retail version of that of our characters. So basically what that means is that you can farm as much as you like on the demo version of the game and then carry all of your stuff to the, to the base game once it launches. That being said, you can only get to level 20, which is a soft cap that they did, well not a soft cap, it's a hard cap, <laughs> or a cap in itself that they place in that, just because they do not want to, to over level on the first uh, uh, stages of the game, just to be become broken at the end of the day. But also, you can farm an armor set, and let me tell you that uh, usually if you are familiar with Neo and their transmog system formula, once you get to the blacksmith in every single Neo game, once you get to the blacksmith, you can get to transmog your armors. And this is a beautiful, beautiful piece of gear, it's also a armor set. And let me tell you, they did change the formula a little bit on how the armor works, so I'm going to be doing a deep dive and a very very detailed video on how is this so amazing on Wolong but for now I'm just going to focus on show you what this thing has and why do you want to have it so basically to get this thing you have to farm Shang Liang which uh, again you can do so by entering right here go over to the uh, travel and battlefield and head back to the encounter you can fight him as much as you like that is going to be the boss for that area. Once you manage to defeat him, he's going to drop this armor set, the General of Man armor set. Those special effects that you see in that, they are always going to be randomized, and the rarity is not going to impact the defense, nor physical resistance, so on and so forth. Spirit defense and all of that stuff, it's matter for a different video. For now, what you need to know is that uh, at least the lowest piece of armor set for the general of man armor that I have gotten myself, it's the rarity blue level. But it's fairly common to get this one. If you farm him quite enough, you can get the level 4 uh, rarity for 4 stars armors. What this means, basically, is that you're going to have 4 special effects instead of these ones versus these ones that have just 3 special effects. Also, do have in mind that if you farm him quite a lot, um, as you can see, this is the, the blue one. If you farm him, for example, this one has toxic attack power, something that I do not use for my build. Copper obtention, quite nice. Damage dealt in desperate condition, I do not really like to be in desperate conditions. <laughs> so I like fail strike damage, that's what I do like. I'm using highest attack power, I do not use that one. And wizard wrist spell consumption, that is something that I do use. So yeah, you can basically farm him and farm him and farm him and get as much stuff as you can. What it is interesting about this armor set though, is that it has the set bonus. And the very first ones, uh, I'm, I'm, you know what, actually all of them are very amazing. Increased spirit gain from normal attacks, that's huge dude, that's huge. Beautiful, reduces received spirit damage when attacking, that's amazing as well, but oh boy, Berserker's Might. Applies Berserker's Might to the user upon a successful deflection. And basically what it does is that it increases your damage dealt to enemies, but also increases the damage taken from enemies. And finally, the final set bonus that this thing is going to have is that it's going to increase the melee spirit damage by 6.4%. Now you might be wondering, why do I want to farm this thing if I am going to change it for something different at later stages of the game? Well, no, my boy, that is now not <laughs> how it works anymore. Thank God for that. This works in a similar fashion. Again, we're going to go in deep, deep detail on a different video for this because it changes the whole formula for character building. But basically what you need to know for now is that if you farm this armor set on the demo version of the game, you will be able to carry this armor set throughout the entirety of the game. Yes, you heard me right, it is not going to get downgraded, you will be able to use this thing if you like the design, which is something that I do like, I dig the design, it's something that you can carry throughout the entirety of the game. Then again, if you farm him completely like a maniac, you will even be able to tailor to get those spells 
as special effects that you want to have in mind that um, for the full set to be active you will have to be to be equipping the great cloth of polaris and you do not have to use it as a matter of fact uh, i do not like the moveset for this thing that much it does have some nice skills like the boulder glide and so on and so forth but basically i just have it equipped there to make the set bonuses go live because again if you if you take it away and then we head over to the sets you will see that i just lost one which was one of the most important ones which was the melee attack spread damage so yeah like i said it's a light armor set also it is very very important to to mention that as well that it's a light armor set so being a light armor set you are going to get less defense but you get different stuff in return for that of less defense and physical resistance but uh yeah that being said like i said if they are true to the reward uh it is the, the the descriptions are very big at some extent when you enter in this game it says that some data for your save file from the demo a portion of it is going to carry through to the retail version of the game but if you head over to the store page on PlayStation and Microsoft, so on and so forth, it says, it says in that, that your whole progress is going to carry over to the main game. So if you're able to carry all of this armor set to the main game, it's going to make your life so much easier early game. If you like the content, like the videos, I appreciate appreciated. Now I'll tell you today, you're a gorgeous and beautiful person. You are indeed a gorgeous and beautiful person. Have a beautiful day. I've seen you got them gorgeous and beautiful people. In the next one, subscribe to the channel before you close the door. Goodbye.